Qais al-Hazali, the commander of Iraq's Iranian-backed Asib al-Alhaq militia, has been filmed on Lebanon's overlooking northern Israeli towns of Medala and Kiryat Shemana. We here with Hezbollah declare our total readiness to stand together with the Lebanese people and the Palestinian cause against Israeli occupation, al-Hazali is heard saying in a video. Qais al-Hazali, commander of Asib al-Alhaq, pro-Iran militia and part of Hast al-Shabi is filmed in southern number Lebanon overlooking number Israel's Kiryat Shemana and walking distance from number Medala HTTPS, slash slash tco slash pak 6 m 8 j on Arunhaim, at A. Arunhaim, December 9, 2017 The video, which appeared on social media late Friday, showed Al-Hazali in Lebanon's Fatima Gate in military garb ready to support resistance fighters and to come to the rescue of Palestinians and Jerusalem. Be the first to know, join our Facebook page. Function, D, S, I, D, Var, J, S, F, J, S equal D get elements tag name, S, 0, if, D get element beard, I, D, return, J, S equal D creatilement, S, js.id equal id jssrc equal slash slash connect facebook.net slash n underscore us slash all js number xfbml equal one and app id equal one six three four one four eight zero six eight nine seven fjs parent node insert before js fjs document script facebook jssdk israel and hezbollah fought a deadly 33-day war in 2006 which came to an end under UN Security Council Resolution 1701 which called for disarmament of Hezbollah, for withdrawal of the Israeli army from Lebanon. For the deployment of the Lebanese army and an enlarged UN force in the South Michael Horowitz, a geopolitical and security analyst, told the Jerusalem Post that the timing of Al-Hazali's visit suggests that Hezbollah is trying to highlight that it is now a regional power with international partners ready to fight alongside it the fact that a us-branded terrorist was able to visit an area southern Lebanon overwatching Israel, is an affront to both to Israel and to the newly not resigned Prime Minister of Lebanon, Saad Hariri, who has been adamant about the policy of dissociation from regional crises, Horowitz said this also may be an attempt to embarrass Hariri, by denouncing the presence of Iran proxies in southern Lebanon, the PM would also indirectly be seen as siding against efforts to recapture Jerusalem but, he added, you also have to wonder, where is UNIFIL? The visit of the leader of a foreign militia funded and trained by the IRGC is another example of the UN mission's overall failure to create a buffer zone in southern Lebanon where the Lebanese state is the main, and only actor. Due to their fighting in Syria the group has grown significantly in terms of technological advances along with battlefield experience and is considered Israel's most dangerous enemy according to IDF assessments, in addition to a massive arsenal of rockets and missiles, Hezbollah is able to mobilize close to 30,000 fighters and has flouted its tunnel system complete with ventilation, electricity and rocket launchers some 200 villages in South Lebanon have also been turned in military strongholds from where Hezbollah militants are able to watch Israeli soldiers at any moment in June the IDF accused the Shiite terror organization of violating the resolution by establishing observation posts under the guise of a NGO green without borders near the blue line bordering Lebanon and Israel since April presumably in order to gather intelligence but Israel's accusations were denied by UN spokeswoman Ari Koneko who said that the UN interim force in Lebanon UNIFIL, is in contact with Lebanese armed forces to ensure that there are no violations of the resolution to avoid any misunderstandings or tensions that could endanger the cessation of hostilities. While Green Without Borders members have planted trees in the area, it has not observed any unauthorized armed persons at the locations or found any basis to report a violation of Resolution 1701, she said adding that UNIFIL remains vigilant and continues to monitor the blue line. According to IDF Chief of Staff Gadi Eisenkot, while UNIFIL is helping maintain calm in southern Lebanon, its leadership does not do enough when Hezbollah violates the resolution. Share on Facebook Share on Twitter Tags, Israel Hezbollah Iran